What is happening, guys? We are back. Uh, so I'm not healed, but there's a place here that has, like, a helipad. And, um, so yeah, we're coming over here, and we're just gonna fight our way past all the bullshit. And hopefully this leads us to a place to heal. I mean, it looks like there's something up top, so... Can't see shit. It's great. Oh, what the fuck just got me? God damn it. See, this is a problem, man. This is a problem. I can't see anything. We're in this fucking sandstorm. I have no healing. Just yikes. 100% yikes. Dude, come on, come on. Wasn't worried about burning through all my fucking. God damn! Now look at that. There's got to be a place to rest up there. All right, we got an auto save. This seems like a decent spot. Let's get our shotgun loaded up. Yeah, fucking speed loader for this thing. Every time I get hit, I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Oh, just barely... Barely scraping by. Up to the top. Hear anything else? And is this what I've been looking for? It looks like it is. Oh, fucking Jesus! Thank God. And some kind of binocular improvement. All right. Whew. All right. First things first. Med kits, good. Those are good. Uh, dismantle all of these. Dismantle these. Never use those fire bullets. I should. All right. Clean the guns. Semi grip stock. Let's do it. Short barrel and suppressor and a shotgun. Jesus Christ. I lose damage and stability. Duck build choke. Lose stability. Gain damage. 
Long barrel gain a buttload of damage. I mean, I don't know why I need even more damage, but why not? Here we go! Ten fucking rounds. That's what I like to see. Our shotgun is looking delicious now. Car is good. Fix up the shitty gas mask with holes on it and whatnot. Forest was this? This night vision system combines two technologies: heat vision and visible light. Such systems were only available for. I'd rather charge my battery more and have that. That sounds cool. Vision and visible light. Like, yeah, that sounds. Fuck. Oh. Wonder what baddies look like now with it. Why would I medkit game? I'm about to just rest. Rest until the next night. And we're gonna go hit up this place and free the slaves. Oh man. I could have slid all the way. I fucked up. Could have gone over here to the tower, straight to the entrance. I'll tell you what, we're we are ready to fucking go now, man. It's nice and clear, there's no sandstorms. We are ready to go. Alright. So, best way is just going to be follow the road straight there, pretty much. Listen up, everyone! The Baron was about to speak! Listen up, everyone! The Baron is speaking! Alright, I have a few words on the canyon near the spring where the straight tribals attacked our boy. Eva! It might work nothing more than an ass fight for you. Planes used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. But you should have harvested before they went rabid. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! And that means extermination! Thank water. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. You can't get out of the car when you're not on even ground. Shit. Listen, I'm not here for you guys. I'm here for these guys. I got med kits this time. Gonna get up top. Is a part part of the problem? I think was the last time I had, I was in here. Uh, the save. Just let him kill me. Just let, 
Just let him kill me. There were two right there. Oh man. But yeah, having having the save with me already in combat meant there was no chance to get anything. I just need to let these guys pass. Shoot one in the head, shoot the other in the head. out of this yet. <laughs> I don't think they've seen me yet. this. I didn't even see this ladder before. Honestly, maybe I should take off the IR scope and just use night vision. Oh shit! I'm out of bullets. I'm also out of flame bullets? I don't even remember even using my flame bullets. Oh my god, this is how you're supposed to do this, man. You come in here, you hit this. Boom. Lights out. I'm not even sure who got me. I was shooting that guy, but he wasn't the one who killed me. There was somebody else. There had to be a guy right below me with a shotgun, I think. Still, though, that grenade was mm, delicious. Most of this place is cleared out.
I think a big part of that was just coming in and being able to do it, um, even in, even though it was just semi stealth. That was a big difference. Big difference when you're able to knock out half the people before they know you're there. How do I... Or that has the thing on the other side. You're getting a knife to the throat. Come Damn it! Alright, well that's gonna be a little bit trickier. I can, <laughs> I can get through everyone else, but this guy is like, there's, there's, uh, man. The problem too is there's two slaves there, so he could very easily, like, well one, I can't throw a grenade. And I got close enough to execute, but... It's looking like there is no, uh, there is no execution there. Alright, and this is locked from both sides. Um, so I want to get over to there. I don't know if you can. There's three people over there looted. Ideally, you'd probably come in through here, stealth your way over, kill a bunch of baddies. Bang, boom, call it a day. But don't always work out the way you hope. That raises the big question of how am I supposed to handle him? I got one grenade, one Molotov. To save before. Surrender now, and you might stay alive. No need to kill the big guy if I can just free the slaves while he's busy clomping around looking for me. This could also be a case of you have to kill the big guy, otherwise slaves don't. Oh, no, hang on. Maltovs seem to be in season. Oh, 
Where is our, uh... Really? One Maltov? Damn, dude. Maltovs are potent. And I talked about that earlier, how Maltov was probably going to be the best way to take the big guy down, because, you know, that suit's going to protect him from a blast, but not from fire that much. Ooh. I don't think it'd be that effective. One Maltov took care of a minigunner. I'll have to remember that. We just gotta find out how to use the slaves. This door is still locked. Like a slave pit here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm following my compass. My compass isn't gonna lead me here. Those. I'm not sure. I just saved. Let's see what happens. Alright, that's death. So these are just, I guess, they're death slash torture pits. I mean, the two big things is there's the... There's the two slaves that were in the back room, but, like, it doesn't make sense that I come here to, you know, fight my way through all these fucking enemies just for the two people in the back room that I don't know. You know, there's... there's it's obvious that you know, we see all these people. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. Okay, so we don't go down into the slave pit. But there's a ton of people down there, and most of them are in cages. There has to be a way to, you know, release them. Maybe I gotta go turn the power back on? That's, that's what I'm missing. There's a control somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is. So this thing opened those cages. I don't think this has anything to do with it. That's locked, but it just goes right there. Um, doesn't make sense that you would just stealth release them because it doesn't. If you were to stealth release them, everyone would uh, assumingly just shoot on sight. So that looks like it would be the control. After you take them out, you gotta come in here. Gotta be up in that control room. Or like here somewhere. Yep, here we go. Thanks. Oh, boy. 
All right. Anything else here? It's just a upward approach. Another angle you could have come from. Well, either way, we got the uh, the slaves have been rescued, which means. It's drunk. Anyway, I don't feel like listening to this asshole rant, so I'm going to wrap things up here. But rest assured, we'll have more Anthem later as we continue on with the main mission and take things out. And I think I finally figured out that number. Right under the metro. 3,901 kilometers. It's supposed to be a tracker of how far we've traveled. Huh. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time.